I was waiting there for like almost a minute. You didn't even scare me. <laughs> I want to start off today's video by saying big shout out and thank you to everyone who supported the Miley 2.0 giveaway. The winner will be chosen shortly. We have to wait a few days for all of the information to get processed and then we will do the random chosen winner and you will soon be getting a phone call from us. So by the time you're watching this video, in the next week, if you get a random phone number calling you, answer the phone. It could be me trying to tell you to come take the little bit of your new car. Also keep your eyes peeled in your packages, boys, because we have two centers from HRE gonna be included in random orders. So if you place your order on either two of the giveaway dates with the wheels, stay posted. Your order will be coming very soon, so I hope you guys win. A video that you guys have asked for a million times that I think I'm just gonna delay it just a little bit is you guys want to see a just raw driving video of either the RX-7 or the Mark IV Supra. And I'm gonna give it to you guys, I really am. And I was gonna plan to do it today with the RX-7, but because the GT3 RS is just still so new and I love it to death, I, I really just wanna go out and drive this car today. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. But trust me, the RX-7 video is coming soon. The Supra video is coming soon. I know I've been waiting a while, but it's coming, I promise. I don't think anyone wants to see the Macan video, no. But one little side note that I wanna talk about is this car has a full PPF on. And what that means is it essentially has a full clear bra around the whole entire car. Every single inch of this car is covered. And one thing that I did for the first time in my life is I did a full wash on a car with a PPF. And the PPF allows the car just to clean up so much easier and just has a like a super easy gloss on the car after you wash it. And man, it was amazing. And this car is also previously ceramic coated. So I washed it for the first time yesterday and it came out so good. It looks so good on camera. It looks so great in person. And it was a great experience. I highly recommend you guys get a PPF on a car if you can uh, swing for it. This car has it and after having it, I wanna get it done on all of my cars that are paint because it makes life so much easier. We still haven't gotten an exhaust yet for the GT3 RS, but it's coming soon. I was talking with Magnaflow and they're actually gonna be making a custom exhaust for us. I hopefully, I think after this week, we have a track day that is planned that I was gonna keep a secret for just a little bit longer, but I gotta tell you guys, I'm so excited. We have a track day later this week, I swear, she does that just to piss me off. I thought she was gonna floor it up that driveway and I was gonna lose it on camera in front of you guys. Yeah, I was literally like, I'm gonna be so mad if she just floors it up that driveway and just destroys the front end of this was, car. Wow, I'm so good, because I was going to it and then I was like, oh, I don't know how to do the lift kit, can't do it. I've seen a lot of comments that I wanna address quickly here. I've talked about how I wanted to get a roll cage in the back. I was thinking about doing it the same ultraviolet purple as the car, but a lot of you guys have said, do the yellow calipers to match the cage. To be honest, when I do, if I was to do that, I think it would almost be too much purple and yellow where it would give off like a Los Angeles Lake vibe. I don't dislike the Lakers, but I don't love it and I don't want this car to be like a Lakers car. I think I might just do a purple cage. Let me know what you guys think down below. I just think purple would be, uh, I don't know, I just think it would look better and the yellow might be a little bit too much. Let me know down below. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm also getting a lot of comments about the wheels. If I'm gonna do HREs, I don't know if I'm gonna do wheels on this car yet. HREs trying to persuade me to do a wheel on this car, but something about just the stock wheels looks so good and they already have great fitment as it is and this is stock ride height. Like, this is so beautiful. It might happen in the future. It might happen next week. I don't know yet, but at this moment, I don't really have a bug to put wheels on this car. So I really wanted to make a video with Sabrina or I just wanted to like document this with Sabrina because she's never been in a car that's a I guess car? not a, this isn't a race car it's it's it well it's there's a fire extinguisher at my feet. <laughs> How is it not a race car? For those who aren't aware, this car was Porsche's attempt at making the fastest production car they could make for the 911. It's a race car. Disregarding the GT2 RS, it's a turbo, it's fast, whatever. But this is like, this is like their flagship car. This car like defies gravity. It is the weirdest feeling on how much grip this car has. Oh, Any no. normal person driving means. this car is just like, it's bonkers. We live next to some beautiful back roads and canyons, so I just kind of wanted to cruise a little bit. One, I just want to cruise this car before- and No, I know what you're gonna do. You're gonna go really fast and you're gonna show how it grips to the roads and doesn't flip over. Essentially. I don't know if I wanna do that. Essentially. But then, okay. once we get to the end, we can switch and you and you can drive back. Oh my, <laughs> I don't know. If It'll I be can fun. It'll be really fun. And also, we we haven't just done a vlog where we're just like talking to the camera in quite a long time. So well, we're just hanging out. Oh, this won't be talking. This is gonna. This whole vlog is gonna be me going. Hey, slow down, slow down, slow down. 
It probably will. When it comes to picking out an oil for your car, it's not an easy choice. I remember when I was new to cars and I would go to the store and I would try to figure out what oil I want. Do I want to go expensive and go full synthetic? Do I not want to go full synthetic? And then if I choose full synthetic, what type of synthetic? It's honestly very overwhelming to choose the correct one for your car and which one you should trust with your car. But Valvoline just dropped a new oil that eliminates all questions and lets customers know and lets you know that this is the supreme choice for your car, no questions asked, no matter what it is. Valvoline's new full synthetic extended protection is the way to go. It's the new gold standard for Valvoline oil. Valvoline's extended protection is designed to extend the life of your engine. It's 10 times stronger against oil breakdown versus industry standard. This is the new go-to for your cars. Look for the gold branding on the bottle. Extended protection, gold for the gold standard. Valvoline going above and beyond for all of us out there trying to keep our cars healthy and keep them healthier for longer. That's what's important. It even has a diagram on the back that allows you to look at oh advanced full synthetic okay it's that good full synthetic high mileage okay it's that good full synthetic extended protection five out of five gold rating baby they make it easy for you to know this is the one the next time you're picking out your oil be sure to look out for extended protection for valvoline thank you so much for valvoline for being a partner of this channel and keeping all our cars healthy but let's get back to today's video this is how it comes stock yeah this is completely stock and you're gonna make it louder yeah this is pretty quiet TJ! It is quiet. This is not quiet. You have a false barometer of what quiet is. It's pretty quiet. No. For, for what it is and for... I don't, know, I don't think this car is very loud as it is. Okay. For, no, what it, for what it can be, it's not considered loud. Let me so just... So you're going to put an exhaust on it? Yeah, but the exhaust we'll be putting on it will still be like, for the most part, not loud. <laughs> you guys, TJ can have the literal loudest car in the world and still be like, it's not that loud. Shakes the entire house. Hey, I've there. had cars that are too loud that oh. I've even admitted. Hey, do you remember the BRZ when it was like at its full loud? That wasn't even that bad. Whoa, with that bird. What do you mean it wasn't even that bad? It was really bad. Before we get crazy, we need to, we need to yeah, warm up the tires a little bit. Oh, okay. Watch the titties. It is important that we warm it up. DJ, stop. We're just this getting is a, a little bit. Of heat this is the in rock. the tires. This is the rock shirt. There is launch control on this car too, but I don't know how to do it. Come on, take get behind this guy. I don't know how to do launch control. Oh shit. Oh, okay, this is the turn. This is the turn, TJ. Dude, just wait, wait till we get to thermal. Oh, I'm wait, getting... Wait, 
we, we're going, I kind of told them at the beginning of this vlog, we're going to, uh, they've been at Thermal Wheels. We took the CA yeah, there last, that, that track was, is so much fun. You guys, that was the last trip yeah. when COVID was starting to break out, and I was seeing it all over the news, and I was like, TJ, fuck, we gotta get home, we gotta get gas and water, and apparently toilet paper, but that was so bad. Dude, this car is making me sick to my stomach. I haven't eaten today, and like, my stomach's like, oh, oh. Pussy, I'm, my stomach doesn't hurt. Hey, watch the language. <laughs> Easy. Actually, there's a set of back roads over there that I oh. want to get to, but I don't know how. Remember when you thought you saw a road with the club? It was blue from far away. It looked black and it had a white roof on it. it oh, it looked black. Someone's gonna be like, "Oh, I've seen that color scheme from the dealership." It it, it looked like a cop from Who far else away. Got? And any glass is bad. Like I, I, if something's like thirty feet away, not no. Oh, like glasses, glasses. Excuse me. Oh my god, I need a little break there. Let me drive, let me drive it. Uh, you can drive it. Like that? Um, you'll be too scared to drive it like that. I'm oh, like, the, only thing, challenge. the only thing you need to be worried about is not going full throttle in the middle of a corner. But it, honestly, this car, you could floor it through a corner and like, it doesn't even like, it doesn't matter because this car is so grippy. It's very grippy. It feels like it's glued to the floor. Yeah, like we can, we can. Oh no. We can drive pretty gnarly, and it, it, it sticks. It sticks. It sticks. So it's, is that the tires, or is that the car? Uh, the tires is, this actually, we can get way stickier tires on the car. It's mainly just the downforce of the wing, the downforce of the car, the suspension of the 911, mm. the center of gravity, I mean. So this is a 911. This is a 911, yes. But this is the top tier GT3 RS. There's only one more car that's the, a fat, oh, oh, there's, there's a cop. There's an actual cop. There's a cop. <laughs> How's it going, sir? <laughs> There's a cop. <laughs> I've never seen a cop back here. Oh, they're back here. I know, I don't really ever see them, though. I've seen them a few times. Because there's some... There's some hooligans that come back some here. some hooligans back here. Making some rowdy noise. Oh, man, there's oh. So, so many people up here, though. I want to get you to that side road, but it's, it was like a really bumpy road to get to it. You want to get some oranges? really cool thing that I like about this car is when you put it in manual mode you can use the paddles which are great but also the way that the shifter feels I guess when you have it in manual mode it's essentially set up like a sequential like in the race car like you push the shifter to go down and then to go up a gear you pull it literally just how the sequential uh, Samsona 6 speed is in the 350 and it feels so accurate to what my shifter feels like. I've always just like loved that about this car that I found myself, I've been driving sometimes for fun using the shifter rather than the paddles because it feels so similar to my oh, actual race can, car. You can do it on this? Too. Yeah, you can go like this. And then you can downshift by pulling it. And it, and it has such a good like resistance and like click. Like it actually has like a solid like thunk when you put it in gear and it feels just like the race car. What are these binoculars? The, they, those aren't binoculars, those are exhaust outlets oh. that shows the valves. Don't put that There's like two, there's like a Don't put two that. exhausts, like pipes coming out, there's a button here that opens up the valve. I guess it does kind of look like a set of binoculars. In, in my defense, I have to show you guys. This looks like binoculars. Here, just take a picture of it and I'll I'm put like, it on the video. This doesn't look like binoculars. We're stuck behind a lot of traffic here, we gotta turn around. I'm weak.
this car is <laughs> so crazy. Dude, it's, it's not. Out of all the other exotics, the 458, the Huracan, the Aventador, nothing touches this car when it comes to like just driving. Wait, what did you take to the thermal last time? Oh, the C8. The C8. Oh, you're I can't have, wait to You're going to have fun with this. This is going to be absolutely crazy. This is... Yeah. Like nothing, nothing compares to this car. Nothing. Honestly, I'll walk home. Only five miles. It's so insane. I'm gonna go set up a GoPro on the back of the car. Hopefully, it doesn't fall off. Oh my gosh. That's a cop. No, it's not. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, CJ.
that GoPro. What is that? Oh, there's a GoPro. There's a GoPro in the back of the car. I thought you were going to say lose traction or lose control or something. No, I meant like the GoPro in the back of the car. I don't know how much I can trust it. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> it's been on the drift cars and stuff, but we're going way faster than we are in the drift cars. We get home, and there's a wild bird. Let's flush him out. I need to open, up that open up the second garage. Oh, here he is. Hi, buddy. Oh, no. Run, buddy. Run. Oh, oh he got it. That was easy. Dude, this thing. Incredible. Well, what you guys don't know is we have someone coming to the house to like install some extra like curtains and stuff, and we need we need to come home. We need to come home. Does your opinion of this car change at all after being in it? How in how in how like oh like do I think it's cooler? Yeah. For sure. Yeah. This I don't understand. Like all of these cars are fast, but none of these cars can drive like that. Not I mean, they can drive like that, but this is like this can like this is like a godlike tier above it. I feel safer because I can feel it attached to the ground. Yeah, this thing doesn't really like These, step out at all. This is a ticket time bomb before we go off the road. <laughs> Flip over. <laughs> That's gonna age like sour milk if anything ever happens. <laughs> <laughs> we had to come home early because we got new blinds installed. Look at that. That right there, everyone, is what adulting looks like. As you get older, everyone, you will start to learn about the finer things in life. And that, my friends, is motorized blinds. I don't know how to use them, though. Oh, hey, hey, hey. But where, why isn't the other one going up? Two, three, what's three? Three, three. Oof, four, five, what the heck? Oh, oof. Well, let me rephrase this. Wait, one go... Okay, if that's one, and that's two, then that should be three? 
Th three. Maybe it's four. Maybe I double click it. Maybe I hold it. Mm. Maybe it's zero. Maybe there's 15 progra programmable blinds. Sabrina, do you know how to make the blinds go up? Sab Sabrina? Mmm. Well, boys, <laughs> to, <laughs> well, I can make those ones go up and down. The finer things in life. I don't know how to make these other ones go down. I'm sure it's something pretty simple. But we got those installed today, so that's why we had to come home early and spend and wait. It feels like such a waste of money. It's so stupid. As you get older, you just have to get things like that. Also, on more important news, if you've been noticing in the vlogs, we only have two dogs around the house. We only have Kona, we only have Blue, and that's because we decided to give Hilo away. I'm just playing. Hilo's been at camp for the past three and a half weeks getting trained, and he comes home tomorrow. And I'm so excited because I miss my little Hilo. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Peace out, and keep moving forward.